What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you that are new, my name is Terrence. I'm a pre-med student currently in my gap year looking to start medical school in August of 2020. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the video. I'm putting out weekly videos on my pre-med journey, uh, the MCAT advice, and also uh, my experience as a medical student going forward. In this video, I'll be talking about my experience in the gap year, uh, what I thought about the gap year before as a pre-med student earlier on, and what I think about it now, and telling you guys, is the gap year truly worth it as a pre-med student? So if you were to ask me back then when I was making the decision to become pre-med and transfer universities, I'll link to the video uh, below where I dis discuss um, going from a college athlete to becoming a successful pre-med applicant. Uh, but if you ask me in the original plan, you know, was a gap year in plan for you? I would say absolutely not. Uh, back then, I really looked at gap year as kind of a weakness for some reason. I felt that, you know, if you took a gap year, you needed extra time. You were behind your peers and it was just a way for you to kind of make up for uh, lost efforts in uh, university. So I looked at it with a pretty poor mindset. Uh, my perspective is a little bit skewed. Uh, another reason I was against the gap year is I thought I'd lose motivation. You know, when, when you're first starting off in uh, the pre-med journey, you kind of know that it's a, this long, uh, stretched out road and, you know, you have to uh, put on your, I guess, mental state of delayed gratification and you know that it's going to be a long journey. And for me, I saw school as kind of like a business trip. You know, you get in, get out, and then you go into the workforce. And I want to get done with my uh undergrad years i want to get done with my four years of medical school and just be able to be a doctor already so anything that was slowing me down in that process i felt was a weakness um, i also didn't want to lose motivation in my gap year i didn't want to uh, just be in my gap year and be like hey maybe being a doctor isn't for me i didn't want to lose that passion and that fear of losing that passion uh, was something that you know was nerve-wracking to me especially as i was just beginning out in my pre-med journey um another thing i didn't want to lose my uh, ability to study and ability to work hard at that level. Um, I, I heard, you know, a lot of people saying, you know, if you take a gap year, you may not be able to study as hard or you may not be able to uh, go long periods of studying when you get back into medical school, medical school is really hard, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, that's something that worried me as well. Um, so all those different things, you know, kind of trying to get it done fast, trying to not be behind my peers, uh, not being not a fear of losing motivation as I went through uh, that gap year and also fear of, uh, you know, just not being able to study at that same level and all those things, you know, all fears really uh, kind of swayed my perspective on what a gap year truly is. So as I went through time, I really matured my mentality. Um, a few things that caused me to realized that I need to have a gap year was when I spoke to my pre-med advisors, uh, they were really telling me that because I transferred and I was already behind, uh, for me to get that stuff done, you know, for me to take winter courses and summer courses every single summer until I was done, just to make up for the fact that I was a little bit behind, uh, was unrealistic and I was putting out a rush product. Um, it wasn't until I realized that, you know, how competitive medical school really is and I didn't want to put out uh, this rushed product of me just trying to get everything done fast, fast, fast. Uh, you have this long list of things you have to do as a pre-med student. And I didn't want to just you know, put out this rushed product of me going through everything in a quick, quick, quick period of time just so I can get it out one year earlier or whatever the case may be. Uh, so for me, realizing that you only have one real shot or I mean, you could apply to medical school multiple times, but for me, I wanted to be someone that applied one time, uh, got in and was able to experience medical school and go on with my journey. And I wanted to put out uh, a quality application so that I wasn't, um, so I was looked at, you know, with the peers, the people that have been taking multiple gap years, people that had careers before, uh, people that are going straight or knew that they wanted to be a doctor from the beginning and have been doing shadowing since they were in high school. Uh, so I wanted to be able to compete with those people. And, and it wasn't until I realized that and I realized the, the general application pool and the competitiveness and the diversity in it, uh, that's when I realized that, okay, I need to mature my application and 
and improve my perspective on on that gap year another thing that changed my willing to uh, willingness to do a gap year was <laughs> me not doing too well on my first MCAT so I initially was gonna take an eight month gap year um, graduate in December and then start medical school or plan to start medical school in that following August but because I didn't do well on my MCAT I had to take an additional year off so that ended up being by the time I start medical school in August it'll be 18 months or about a year and a half since I graduated and having that extra time um, it was good and it was bad I felt that the extra time has really motivated me to want to get back into medical school want to get back into the books and studying and working at that level again um, it's been negative in the way that it's kind of delayed me, but it hasn't really been anything significant. I mean, what is really six months or another, you know, 12 months to this, you know, long 40, 50 year career, uh, I may potentially have. So having that change and mindset and realizing that this gap year is kind of just a break and not really, uh, you know, just an intermission and not really, you know, uh, a break for ev from everything and, and it's not really taking me away from my love. I'm still in medicine. I'm still involved in it. Um, you know, that that's really what that changed my mentality on, on you know, what a gap year truly is. Another thing, um, I spoke to physicians and physicians would tell me that, you know, they'd be attendings or they'd be residents and, and their fellow residents, uh, the first job they ever had was their residency because they were working so hard in undergrad trying to get uh the best grades possible doing the clubs they never really had a true job where they had people telling them what to do uh t telling them where to go where to be and they have a hard time with that um you know authority complex where somebody is telling them and has authority over them to tell them what to do and you know a lot of they were telling me that a lot of these students that never had jobs never took gap years never took time off and actually worked for somebody or put in that hard labor um they don't know how to really adjust to that uh that environment they don't know how to adjust to uh being in this environment where somebody's telling you what to do you're constantly working you're never on your own time etc so being in a gap year allows you to have that it allows you to really just learn how to work um and learn what it is to work whether it's a nine to five or longer um five days a week and put in uh, that time and effort uh, working for somebody else. So that's another positive that I found uh, when it comes to being in the gap year. So as far as my gap year specifically, um, I mentioned in, in other videos, but I do clinical research. I'm a clinical research coordinator for an orthopedic practice on Long Island. And uh, if you were to ask me, you know, is a gap year worth it? I would say 100% it's worth it. Um, absolutely worth it. I am experiencing things that and maturing as a person and as a uh, medical applicant um, as I'm going through this experience, uh, getting to work closely with doctors, getting to work closely with other medical staffs, PTs, OTs, uh, medical assistants, uh, PAs, uh, all those different, you know, surgical nurses, people in the OR, all these different things that I'm experiencing and getting to uh, the people I'm getting to work with have just given me a more well-rounded perspective on medicine, understanding what it is to be a doctor, really, um, just working in this environment. Uh, another thing is giving me time off from school. I was working so hard for those four years and grinding, 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 and having this year and a half off has really uh, motivated me, like I said, to get back and, and I'm, I'm wishing, I'm, I'm have that urge to get back into uh, studying again and having that time uh, to focus on myself to be the best uh, medical, school, uh, medical school student possible. Um, so it's brought me away from school for long enough to where I'm, I'm ready to go back in and I'm ready to go. Uh, a lot of people tell me that medical school is a roller coaster and I know that it's, you know, once you jump onto it, you know, there's no coming off and there's no slowing down. So having this time to really slow down, travel, spend time with friends and family that I may have uh, pushed off to the side uh, when I was in undergrad working so, so hard, you know, getting to spend time with those people and getting to travel and have time for myself uh, has been great. So what I recommend a gap year 100%, um, is it for everybody? No, everybody has different circumstances and, you know, you have to kind of grade what you uh what position you're in but if you have the option to take a gap year i would say 100 percent do it uh, see the world travel 
uh, spend time with friends and family before you go off onto this uh, medical school journey and you know get that experience and mature as a student uh, mature as a human being you learn how to talk to people learn how to speak to different people that are unlike yourself um, and just you know enjoy being <clears throat> a regular person for a little bit before you go into that medical school um, process so that's my <clears throat> that's my take and thank you for watching this video once again if you're new please subscribe if you enjoy the video like the video it really helps me and if you have any suggestions of things you want to see don't be afraid to comment down below i'm gonna link my two videos um, that i mentioned in this one how i increased my mcat uh, from a 500 to a 513 in less than a year and also my my entire journey from uh, being a, a college athlete into a uh, successful medical school applicant um, thank you again for watching this video. Good luck to everyone. If you have any more questions on the gap year, let me know. And uh, with that being said, let's get in.